So far, we have learned on fuzzy set, then how to represent a fuzzy set in a computer then. The membership function must be determined first. A number of methods learned from knowledge acquisition can be applied here. For example, one of the most practical approaches for forming fuzzy set relies on the knowledge of a single expert. The expert is asked for his or her opinion whether various elements belong to a given set. Another useful approach is to acquire knowledge from multiple experts. A new technique to form fuzzy sets was recently introduced. It is based on artificial neural networks which learn available system operation data and then derive the fuzzy set automatically. Now, we return to our tall man example. After acquiring the knowledge of man's height from the expert, for example, we could produce a fuzzy set of tall man. In a similar manner, we could obtain fuzzy set of short and average man as well. These sets are shown in figure 2 here, okay, along with Chris set as well. The universe of this course, the universe of this course, this y axis, sorry, x axis, the man's height consists of three sets short, average, and tall man. In fuzzy logic, as you can see, a man who is 180 cm, 184 cm tall, is a member of average because it points out into the line of average set with a degree of membership 0 0.1 here. And at the same time, he is also the member of tall set tall man set because he points out to the tall graph here with a degree of 0 0.4. This means that a man of 184 cm tall has partial membership in multiple set. At the root of fuzzy set theory lies the idea of linguistic variable. A linguistic variable is fuzzy variable. For example, the statement join is tall implies the linguistic variable join. So this is variable takes the linguistic value tall. In fuzzy expert system, linguistic variables are used in fuzzy rule. If then fuzzy rule. For example, if project duration is long then completion risk is high so this would be the variable and this would be the value next example is if speed is slow then stopping distance is short so we have two variable here that is speed and stopping distance and Speed has its own value that is low, while stopping distance has its own value that is short. The range of possible values of uh, linguistic variables represent the universe of discourse of that variable that is x-axis. For example, the universe of discourse of the linguistic variable speed may have range. So we have one variable that is speed. It may have range between 0 and 222, 220 km per hour. And may include fuzzy subset. Okay. So we have a few fuzzy set here. Fuzzy subset such as very low, slow, medium fast and another one that is very fast. This fuzzy subset actually represent the linguistic value. Now,
take a minute to solve this question. Determine the linguistic variable for temperature and discuss the values. Are you aware that temperature is actually the linguistic variable? Yes. So we don't have to determine the linguistic variable for temperature. But then we need to determine the linguistic values for temperature. So example of linguistic values for temperature would be hot, medium, cold. Next question, can beauty be considered as linguistic variable for fuzzy? Well, if you need a fuzzy values, it cannot be considered as linguistic variable because we don't have the range, the exact range for variable beauty. Meanwhile, if we talk about temperature previously, temperature we have the range for example 0 degrees celsius until 35 degrees celsius for example but then in beauty do we have any range or the universe of this course of beauty if it is not so that so then you have to consider that it is not applied to it cannot be applied to fuzzy then hages Hages is a linguistic variable carries with its concept of fuzzy qualifier called Hages. Hages are terms that modify the shape of fuzzy set. They include adverbs such as very, somewhat, quite, more, less, and slightly. Hages actually acts as operation in themselves. So meaning that it can be another subset. It creates another subset. From set of Tolman, we take an example. It derives this subset, another subset that is very, very Tolman. So from previous figure that we have drawn in figure 2, for example. So we have the average, short, average and tall. So, if we consider ages in the fuzzy concept, then we need to have another subset that is very tall man. Extremely serve the same purpose to a greater extent. So, this is the example of it, the ages. Okay, so this is when we apply ages here as another subset. These are the mathematical and graphical representation of hages. So we have here a little, slightly, very, extremely, very, very, more or less, somewhat, and also indeed with its own mathematical expression. Next, we have various types of membership functions. So previously, what we have seen is the triangular membership function but that also exists different type of membership function first one would be s shape z shape triangular membership function trapezoidal gaussian distribution pi function and vicinity function so i hope you can read this by your own